Since the summer of 1999, the Bemidji Sculpture Walk has become a summertime tradition for many tourists and residents that visit Bemidji's downtown. Our Josh Peterson takes a look at what makes the Sculpture Walk a success. Take a stroll downtown Bemidji and you will meet some interesting characters. Some silly, some majestic, and some that reach high into the sky. These characters will cause you to pause, think, maybe even laugh doing exactly what the Bemidji Sculpture Walk board wants the various pieces of art to do. I just think we have some real fun pieces this year um, that will appeal to almost anybody and everybody. Art can be seen in many different ways. Sometimes we know exactly what it is and sometimes we don't. Sometimes art can be freestanding and sometimes art can just be practical. But it's a combination of all those things that makes the Bemidji Sculpture Walk a key to success. Mainly we look for things that are going to appeal to different people and have different types of things for different tastes. So not all of them are alike. Um, some are going to appeal to kids more, some to adults more, some to the art collector more. Ask just about anyone downtown and you find that the Sculpture Walk is really a hidden gem of northern Minnesota. I think the Bemidji Art Walk is a really great thing for downtown Bemidji. I mean, you have all of these this wonderful local talent, so why not showcase it on every street corner? After 18 years of success, Bemidji has set the example for other communities to follow in Bemidji's Art Walk footsteps. For Lakeland News, I'm Josh Peterson. If you're interested in owning a piece of Bemidji's Sculpture Walk, the Sculpture Walk's board will be hosting a dragon fly auction that will be held June 11th from 5.30 until 7.30 p.m. at the Rail River Folk School. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.